All right, you guys. So in today's video, we are doing a Timu crystal haul. Now, Timu is supposed to be the new Shein. So I went ahead and ordered a ton of crystals off of Timu to see what the quality is like, if they're fake. I know some of them are fake and just how I feel about Timu selling crystals. I did not think that they would sell crystals, but they sell literally everything and everything is super discounted. So do I recommend shopping for crystals on Timu? Let's dig around in these crystals and find out. So this is our first crystal. It is a pendant. Let's go ahead and open it up. It says kyanite and black tourmaline. Okay, so this is the tourmaline and black kyanite. It actually looks really good. This looks like something I would get from my Brazilian supplier, to be honest. I think the quality is actually really nice. I am very surprised. Blue kyanite in this wand shape can be pretty expensive, though it is very thin, like you could easily snap it, which I obviously am not gonna do. And the tourmaline is really nice, but overall, this looks like something very similar to what I've carried in my shop before. So, so far, so good. And I will put all of the prices I paid up on the screen as I'm going through each item. Okay, so this is what the next item looks like. The little baggie came open and it's just in some bubble wrap. Oh, I know exactly what this is. It's way tinier than I thought it would be, but it's not bad. Let's see what it looks like when I open it up. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's a teeny tiny satin spar bowl. So let's get it out of this plastic. Okay, that is what the bowl looks like. It's not very deep, but it is, you know, a little bit concave. You could put like a little pendant. Speaking of pendant, you could put a little pendant in there. But you can see how small it is compared to this pendant, right? Like it's pretty tiny. But it's a nice quality piece of satin spar and they do call this selenite, which if you want to watch my video on the difference between those two, I will link it up above and in the description box down below. But this is a really nice piece of satin spar. Super nice. There's a little bit of oil on here if you're seeing that. A lot of wholesalers put oil on crystals to make them super shiny. So if you ever notice oil on your crystals, it's usually some kind of hair or car oil, which sounds really weird, but that's what that wet spot is. Overall, pretty cute though. Okay, so this is what the next item looks like no description. This looks to be some kind of geode. I'm super curious about this one because it looked very much enhanced or dyed. So let's see what she looks like. <laughs> okay, so this is an amethyst little geode. I do think this is dyed. Like the back is coated in something really weird, but look at how dark the points are. It's just like so dark. There's no variance in the color, which makes me think that it could be dyed. It didn't say dyed. There's also these like weird streaky lines on the back. Yeah, let me take a closer look at this and see if I can tell if it's dyed. Okay, so after giving it a closer look, I don't know if it's dyed, but I do think the black is making the points appear darker. They don't look overly dyed and enhanced, but the back is super weird. I don't know what coating this is on here. It's really interesting, but it's a really cute piece of amethyst. These tend to be kind of expensive. So again, but if you don't mind kind of the markings and the divots and the potential that it could be dyed, it's actually a really cute piece. Okay, so this is the next piece. No description. Oh, okay. Got a little baby super sparkly amethyst heart and she is raw on the back. But let's just look at this amethyst compared to the amethyst I just showed you. I'm just gonna get really close. You can see how dark this one is, but it doesn't look dyed. It almost looks like the black is just making it look more dark, but I mean, it's similar to this one. So yeah, really cute. These are very tiny though. Like they're a little bit bigger than the size of my eye. <laughs> They're bite-sized little crystals. Let's see what we got next. Okay, again, no description. Okay, so this is supposed to be, I think they might have called it Caribbean calcite, and a lot of people do call this Caribbean calcite. To me, this is more of a blue-green aragonite, but sometimes they're used interchangeably. Again, fairly decent piece looks pretty nice overall good color good banding right here 
it's just again very tiny but i think you can get bigger sizes and i picked kind of the smaller medium sizes because i didn't want to invest a ton in big pieces because if it was a scam i would be really sad so most of the pieces i got are mini with the exception of some so let's go on to the next piece okay here's the next one looks pretty big so this one I was really, really curious about because the photos made it look super duper high quality. I know what these are supposed to go for. I have miniature versions of them. So this, I'm actually shook in a good way. So this was advertised as peach moonstone with blue flash. And I was like, there's no way it's gonna have blue flash. Not only does it have blue flash, it has a very easy to find large blue flash. Are you kidding? Look at that. No way. And if you guys don't know or are new to crystals, blue flash is kind of rare. So, I mean, this is a moonstone, so it can totally have blue flash, but blue flash is kind of hard to come by. And look at that. That is incredible. And as I'm flashing this side, it's flashing over here too. Oh my god that is like a 10 out of 10. i will preface normally when i do these reviews there is nothing that i actually want to keep when i'm gonna keep it a blue flash peach moonstone it even has some lattice rainbow flash on it let me see if i can show you that so because of my ring light you may not be able to see it it's right here it's a little hard to see it's a lattice rainbow flash which again is those multi sparkles pretty rare i am super happy with this blue flash sphere super happy okay next okay the next one looks like a necklace but it looks like it's not functioning. Let me open it up and see. Ooh, oh my God. Again, another piece that I'm like. So this is an amethyst pendant polished in kind of a cylindrical way, but the amethyst is like real nice quality. And the gold is again, really nice. Now the chain looked to be broken. So let me take a peek sees here. Here's what I mean by broken, and I've received these from my suppliers before. It could just be that I'm an incompetent person, but I say it's broken if it doesn't come ready to sell. This is what I mean. Like, I can't attach this side to the other side. And I know it's probably like an easy fix, but again, this, I'm gonna count against that piece. The pendant is gorgeous, but this thing is like broken. Like I can't attach this to this unless I like bend it. So slight deduction, but I can buy another chain at a craft store. The piece of amethyst is really nice quality in a really beautifully designed pendant. Next, let's see what we got. Another itty bitty one. So can you see this next piece? It's super tiny. It's a little Rutile tower, which I think in the picture they looked a little bit nicer quality, but I know that we can't control the quality that the earth produces. I'm gonna try to bring this in really close so you can see it. It's still Rutile, like it's not fake. It's definitely a real crystal. It's just very teeny tiny. And there is Rutile in there, okay. It's not like amazing quality, but it's a quality I would expect to get for the price. But overall, I mean, not bad. Like, honestly, not bad. It's just like very small. Next. Ooh, let's see. Oh, mmm, mmm. So this was marketed as blue tiger's eye, but when you look at the photo, it's like super trippy. Like, I was like, whoa, that looks fake. So, okay, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I think I know what's going on. So these are the beads. You can see they do have flash on them and they market this as blue tiger's eye, but every time I've bought in source blue tiger's eye, it isn't this like neon. So my thought is this is actually cat's eye and it's never this flashy. So I think this is just dark blue cat's eye, especially based on the way that the flash is performing. So it's still cool. Cat's eye is man-made, but it's definitely not blue tiger's eye. It also has none of the signatures of tiger's eye or tiger's iron on it so pretty sure this is cat's eye still cool but they're very mini they're not like your standard okay and after looking at these further definitely cat's eye and maybe they got confused in the listing between like tiger's eye and cat's eye maybe but let's move on to the next thing Ooh, this feels this feels heavy that's what it looks like no hints so this was advertised as a purple flash labradorite is it gonna flash Ooh, 
there's the purple flash is she flashy on the back i'm in not the best lighting right now but i just saw she flashed purple so she's authentic to the listing okay let me i'm trying to see if i can get it angled right so you guys can see purple flash sometimes labradorite can be really stubborn but i can confirm this is flashing oh my god I'm trying to replicate this flat look at that it Oh my gosh, this is such a stubborn piece. It has like a really nice purple flash on the back. Okay, this is such a cool piece. I thought this was gonna be like not flashy at all, but it kind of has like an oil spill flash. Yeah, this one is a little bit stubborn, but when it's facing me, you can definitely see the purple. So truly authentic as advertised. This is a natural piece of Labradorite with the purple flash, which if you guys don't know, purple flash is pretty rare and highly desired. So far, I have not been disappointed except for the blue tiger's eye, which could be just a mislabeling. Here we go with the next one. This one also feels pretty heavy. So this was another moonstone. I think it was advertised with blue flash and it did not disappoint. What is happening? I was for sure that this haul was gonna be a disaster, but everything is as it said. Wow, okay. I mean, the the color on this like isn't the greatest, but the blue flash on both sides, high shine, high polish, cannot complain about. Again, this one is a winner in my book. All right, we still got more left. Let's see what this baby, oh, I know this. I know this one is fake. But let's have a look-sees together. And I am gonna make a video on this now that I have a fake, cause there's no way in hell that this is real. So. I'm sure most of you can guess what this is trying to be straight off the bat, Moldavite. <laughs> but the price for this quote unquote Moldavite was like, it was under 15 bucks, I think. I've never actually seen fake Moldavite in person. It's real shiny and it, it just feels like plastic. It's really light. I do have real Moldavite that I will show in a separate video, but just based on the fact that this is so shiny, like Moldavite is not this shiny. And there's also like a little C in print right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's like the letter C right there, which I think is supposed to mimic like a bubble, which Moldavite does naturally have bubbles. It's a glass, but this is pretty sure this is I don't know what it is, but it's not breaking easily, but I 1 million percent can confirm this is fake. So watch out for that video if you want to learn about fake Moldavite versus real Moldavite. I can use this for my fake example, and I do have some real ones. So stay tuned for that video. Obviously, I knew this was 100% fake when I bought it. I don't know if this would fool other people, but I mean, if you see Moldavite for like 10 bucks, it's fake. Because just so you guys know, this is going for like $30 a gram, like the real stuff, so... Ooh, okay, so this one, again, I think I know it's fake. It was advertised as citrine, and you guys know that I am the citrine queen, and if you don't know, hi, I'm Barbie, I'm the citrine queen. This was sold as natural. Confirm that she is a fake. She is yellow smelting quartz. So if we take a super close-up look, you can see the smelting quartz lines in there. If you don't know what smelting quartz looks like, I do have a couple videos on it, but even if you look at it in the light, you can see it's super streaky, which is the signature of smelting quartz. So she is a not citrine. She is a fancy glass. <laughs> All right, do we have any more? I think we have one more. That's what she looks like. So again, was super surprised to see this on Timu because I've never seen these on Shein or Romwe and they're a little bit more like hard to find. So let me show you. It is a natural opalized ammonite and it is 100% happy to report authentic with a very nice red, green, orangey flash. And I know these don't look natural. They're not aura coated. They are natural. I have carried them before. They're really freaking cool. I am like so impressed. Okay you guys, that was everything from the freaking Timu haul. And I am like kind of shook. Like the stuff that I knew was fake, I knew it was fake. Like when I saw it, I was like, yep, fake. It looks fake in the pictures. So just a reminder, Moldavite was fake. The blue tiger's eye was fake and the citrine was fake, but everything else was real, decent quality, the size that was promised. And if it had a description like blue flash or purple flash, 
it was actually blue or purple flash which I'm kind of shook. I dug around on Timu a lot to kind of try to find more rare or uncommon pieces. Not your like standard like clear quartz, rose quartz, obsidian. You know, I try to find like more unique things that people desire and I am just kind of surprised to be honest. Like I thought this was gonna be a disaster. Everything was gonna be low quality. Everything was gonna be fake. Like I didn't think it would turn out as well as it did. So I mean, everything was pretty appropriately priced. And just so you guys know how I think this works is Timu is another Chinese company. I think they work with Chinese wholesalers to get these pieces. And that's why you don't always get the one that's listed in the photo, but they buy bulk lots of them. They're able to sell them at basically the wholesale price. And that's how this all works. And that's how they're able to get it so cheap. So if you guys found this video interesting make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below i actually think i am gonna do another timu haul because this was really interesting and i probably will be selling some of these pieces and maybe like a mystery box type style but you'll know obviously what's in it for the price i paid if you're curious and want to own some of these pieces but thank you guys so much for watching have you guys shopped at timu and have you bought crystals off timu and what do you think about timu in general i have ordered some other things like slippers and sunglasses from them that i was very happy with so I was hoping that the crystals were good and they were so thank you guys again so much for watching make sure before you go to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more Timu hauls and I'll see you guys on the next one love you bye